Not too long ago, made, we made the review of BMW Air uh, 1250RT, the legendary touring motorbike. In that review, we made some critical things about the front lamp and the analog uh, dashboard. For 2021, BMW made a lot of innovations on the, on the bike. All of these things and even much more were changed and made much, much more modern. Let's check out the new RT. The bike itself, from the, from the mechanical part, we can say it didn't change uh, related to the previous preview. You can find it, you can check it in that uh, review of us. All the things, so for example, the wheelbase, the mass of the bike or anything else you will find there. But it's absolutely same and didn't change that uh, the R1250RT is a very, very huge, fat, we can say massive, touring motorbike with a very, very powerful and dynamic uh, boxer engine. It's really, uh, we can say, a perfect touring motorbike. There are some small and very, very important things which are new, innovative in this and which are very, very important. Let's check out all of them. The new RT has already an active cruise control system, which means that it doesn't only keep the speed that you fix, but it also takes care of the uh, traffic. So now I increase my wished speed to 100 and let's say 30 kilometers per hour. But now it shows that I have a car in front of me and without using throttle brake anything, it keeps the distance from it. When the road is clear in front of me, it starts to accelerate back to the speed which is fixed for it. But without using the throttle or the front brake or any kind of brake, if I go out to the outside lane and I uh, reach a slower car again, it even uses the, uh, the brake system of the bike and reduces the speed to the safety one. Anytime when I want to uh, accelerate from this position, I only have to use the throttle. But the rider is going to see the most of the time while riding is the new dashboard, which is really, really a gigantic piece, maybe the biggest uh, of the whole motorbike industry. And of course, a TFT LCD with a big RPM counter, current speed, lot of uh, data, for example, the gear indicator and lot of other things. This doesn't contain anything new. Uh, we can go to the menu of the bike, which is uh, more or less the same as we already got accustomed to in the BMW Motorrad's world. So we can see a lot of information about the motorbike, even until the tire pressures. And we can uh, listen to the radio, we can navigate, we will speak about this while riding. We can listen to the uh, music of our mobile phone, we can use the telephone, so start calls, receive calls, everything else, and we can go to the settings of the motorbike. And even what is a new thing because of the width of the TFT is that we can split the screen as just as in the cars of BMW with one movement of the eye ring, and then uh, we can see the onboard and trip computer data beside normal uh, riding data. Although the whole bike system is very, very complicated, but the number of buttons on the handlebars is not too much. For example, when I started riding one of the uh, not too warm mornings, I was searching for the heated grips button, but I couldn't find it. Because the grip and the rider seat heating can be activated only from the menu, but don't think that you have to uh, move in the menu while riding, because we have the favorite buttons on the, on the left uh, side of the motorbike and we can program anything that we want. For example, I made a program to number two uh, with the heating menu. We can simply step in and then activate the grip heating. Let's make it to number three from the five steps and the seat heating to number one from the five steps and then we can go out and continue riding and then we can see on the dashboard that which is positioned to which uh, level. If 
once I connected my mobile phone and uh, the BMW application is running uh, with the motorbike itself, then I can start to use the map navigation, which is a new innovation of BMW. When I go into the navigation menu, uh, from my mobile phone, the map is arriving to the motorbike. And from here, I can really, really easily even uh, change, uh, search for a destination. For example, I choose this one and start the guidance. Uh, the data are coming on Wi-Fi and uh, on uh, Bluetooth as well. And then I can see uh, the navigation uh, instructions on the right side and the map itself on the left side. So it's working absolutely clear and properly. When I already connected my mobile phone with the motorbike, I can even put it to my packet, but BMW thought this thing a little bit uh, longer because on the right side we have a little uh, area where we can put our mobile phone in. This is absolutely covered with uh, rubber from the inside, so it is soft. Uh, we also have a USB in it, but if our uh, phone is knowing the IQ uh, or QI, sorry, uh, charging then we can put it in the charging immediately starts without any cable we can fix it so it cannot move any and uh, this is even better that if uh, I don't know if you heard it but I can already feel it that the small ventilator immediately starts together with the charging and the phone is always in a cooled position inside while you are riding really amazing in BMW motorbikes for quite a while we have the dynamic as a system which is really a wonder because when it is on dynamic standing just as it is now you can make really sporty curves with a very very uh, tight suspension but afterwards when you ride on a bumpy road like this really big road mistakes then the suspension immediately becomes very very nice and soft and it is not hard for you at all. BMW's dynamic traction control system, although the RT is not an off-road motorbike, but let, let me show you on an unpaved road how is it working. The accelerating is so effective and even the braking is unbelievably good with the new ABS systems, even on a lazy surface like this. The new RT has four different engine maps. I will be very honest with you, I was using the Dynamic all the time, so this is the best uh, for sure, but I show you the others. If I activate the Echo mode, uh, this is for Echo riding. Uh, the more green you can see, the economically you are riding, so when I use the throttle, then the green is disappearing. Next one is the Rain mode where the throttle response and everything else is very very safe the third one is uh, the road mode which is let's say the best for everyday use but i will be really very honest with you dynamic is the best the harder suspension the more power best motorbike we have the hill start assist system for quite a while but until now we didn't show it to you how is it working when i start with the bike uphill and i do not have this system then it easily happens that uh, i do not play well with the clutch and i just slip back and it's very very difficult we start with such a heavy bike uphill if i pull the front brake pretty hard then on the dashboard i can see that the heel start assist is uh, activated and afterwards i cannot roll back i just have to use the throttle the clutch and easily start with the bike without any problem Which is absolutely new the whole front part and it gives the real face of the new RT is the new light because in the previous model we still saw the bulbs here we cannot see them it's a full LED system with uh, 
uh, day uh, light, running light and uh, all the other LED uh, high beams and everything else. Uh, but uh, what we have to do to check it, how is it working, because it also has uh, curving light. So let's check out during the night. So let's see the lighting system, the old LED lighting system. The lighted area in front of the bike is very, very sharp, but it's very short. Only if I use the high beam, I can see that, oops, here is a roundabout arriving. But when I arrive to the roundabout, you see it's still very, very dark. Only like this I can see it. But I, when I arrive to the roundabout, then the cornering light makes the inner area of the corner, in this case the roundabout, really very, very, very light. So it is much better to see the inner side of the curve than with the normal motorbike lightnings, we cannot see it. One of the specialties of the RT is the relatively short wheelbase. So although it's a big bike, the wheelbase is pretty short and just one of uh, its uh, result is that the turnability and the maneuverability of the motorbike is extremely good. The new RT has a two sound horn and the sound of it is really amazing. Just check this out. <laughs> so all in all we can say that the R1250 RT was one of the best touring motorbikes of the world even so far. Those things which were maybe not perfect in it. BMW corrected all of them and put even more innovations into it. So now we can say that this is the best touring motorbike of the world or very close to the best somewhere there we can say that now it's unimaginable that anybody can build a better touring bike than this the bad news is that within a few years i am very sure that bmw is going to come out with something which is going to be even more than this although at the moment i cannot imagine how if you liked our review please push a thumb up if you can do it donate our work and subscribe for our channel and watch our previous content and thanks a lot for your attention.